Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing another speed build. This one is called Primrose Hill, which quite possibly I could have used before. I could have used that name before. I'm not too sure. I kind of don't put a lot of effort into the names. I try and look at the build and very quickly decide what type of name I think it would fit. <laughs> but then sometimes I you know, I may have used that name before. In fact, I nearly made a massive taboo the other week naming a build because I did one of my palaces and I was like, this name, I don't want to say which one because then I'll just look an idiot. But anyway, I'm going to share it with you. Um, this particular build, I thought, yeah, that'll do. That name will do. That'll fit it perfectly. And then as I came to kind of do the voiceover and everything, I changed the name last minute. And then it's only when I went to look and watch somebody's speed build that I realised I'd picked the exact same name. So subconsciously, I must have recorded it in my mind and then thought, yeah, that looks good for my build. It was just a very generic name, but I was like, oh man, that would have been so embarrassing. You would have done that. So anyway, Primrose Hill it is. And if you've recently done a build called Primrose Hill, I fully apologise. But anyway, this one is um, built on a 40 by 30 lot and comes in at just less than 108,000 simoleons. Now, this footage for this build is going to look a little bit strange. And what I mean by that is uh, it was really hard to edit because I decided I wanted to do a suburban home and I began to build it, but I am actually due to do a, a collaboration as well. So halfway through this build, I kind of thought this would actually be perfect for the collaboration. So part of the collaboration I'm doing is a build challenge and it requires certain things. So I ended up having to I deleted a load of stuff inside it and on the outside and then changed my mind again <laughs> because I had roofing issues with this build. Now, I love the roofing the way that it is and how I've built it is exactly how I want it. But the roofing in The Sims 4 isn't brilliant, as everybody knows, and there are roofing cutting in issues, should we say. So oh, it wound me up. I didn't want to spend ages kind of messing around with it because this is the way I wanted it to look. So I decided to just do like a one level build. Um, and that's when, at that point, I decided to scrap it being my collaboration build because I did want to build something a bit more bigger and just, you know, on a couple of floors, shall we say. So then it changed again and I had to redo all the outside and then some of the inside. So I apologise if it seems to kind of jump all over, uh, but I think you get kind of the gist of where I'm going with the build. And you sh there isn't really anything major that I'm missing, for an example. So talking about roofing, our lovely sim guru Aaron has announced on Twitter that we are indeed getting more than just octagonal roofing. We're going to be getting some sort of round roofing. This just blows me away. Now for all, because I know there's so many people that hate roofing in The Sims 4, but 
honestly, just when you get your head around it, it's actually quite a lot of fun and it just takes lots of kind of practice and trial and error. There's many times that I will build um, just like examples, just rough boxes, like house shapes and just mess around with the roofing just to see what I can come up with using the different shapes, the different angles. I try to make it complex and then I try to keep it simple. But Oh, with all the palaces and the castles and things like that that I've built, I'm just like, oh man, the roofing. I really wished I'd had these roofing options back when I built these palaces and castles. And it did make me think, should I go back in and redo all the roofing on the palaces and castles? But then again, I think by not doing it, it kind of puts a time stamp on the build because when you look back, you realise that this is what you did to improvise when you didn't have that option to do the roofing. So I'm actually really looking forward to it because it means that I've got um, a chance to rebuild some brand new castles and palaces and yeah I'm really looking forward to that because I do tend to moan in my videos about doing these larger bigger builds but I love it I do love it I get you know and I get that kind of like itch to do a bigger one which is there's never much gap in between um I really love getting stuck into a big build and especially when it goes well and you kind of think yeah, I really like this one. This one's going good. They're always the best builds. So yeah, I'm totally looking forward to the roofing. I'm really, really happy that us builders get some kind of new stuff to play around with because sometimes we don't always get, I think building wise, we haven't really had anything major for a while. And I'm really hoping at some point they will throw in spiral staircases. I've seen a good amount of YouTubers now kind of pushing the gurus to add in some spiral staircases or at least some ladders, something along them lines because the stairs do take up a good amount of room when you're building multiple floors and when you come in to do stuff like palaces and castles there is so much wasted space in mine because you literally can't do anything with it. If you can't fit a staircase up that kind of space then you know what can you do with it really. So I am really, really hoping that at some point they will add in uh, some kind of like you know, spiral staircases or something like that, because that would just make my larger castle palace builds type thing just an absolute dream. Um, but anyway, I apologise if you can hear any background noise, but my poor husband, bless him, he's working very late tonight. We're now on like 20 past 11, he's still working away and uh, he's got his headset on and all I can hear is his music. I don't even know how he's not deaf, to be honest because it's that loud it sounds like it's coming out of my speakers <laughs> so I apologize if you can hear any background music but that is indeed my husband working away like a Trojan at a ridiculous o'clock at night um so it's Friday oh and not only that it is currently the 1st of September well actually it's nearly the 2nd of September now but Oh, this makes me so excited. I'm one of those people that, you know, summer people hate because I am such a big fan of autumn. It's my favourite, or as uh, a lot of people call it, fall over in America. It's my favourite season of the year. And um, I'm so excited because... All my kids go back to school at the beginning of next week and I'm really, really going to miss them. Um, we've had a great summer together and it's always so good to have them at home. And when they go back to school, I feel, always feel really, really sad for the first few days because the house just feels so much quieter. But this year I have obviously my youngest daughter, she's now seven months, so she's going to be keeping me super busy and the house isn't going to be quite so quiet. 
it. Um, but yeah, this time of year is always exciting because the kids go back to school, the routines all kick back in and we start to get really excited for Halloween. Now, over here in the UK, we don't celebrate it anywhere near as good as you guys do in the US. Man, I am so jealous because I really wish it was like that around here, but it's just in the UK there are just so many boring people that are just like they don't even answer the door I think it's so sad I, I probably find it more sad because obviously I've got children and I know how disappointed they are when they kind of knock at someone's door and they just completely you see the curtains ruffle and they're just like hiding behind the curtains like go away children like little scrooges but there are, luckily, near us, um, we have this street where they go absolutely all out with lights and decorations. They do the houses up, the adults are done up, and it's really, really fun. So the last couple of years, we've taken our two youngest and my eldest, he obviously, is, he's old enough to go on his own now with his friends. He doesn't need mum to hold his hand. Man, he'd be so embarrassed. Um, but yeah, so we take our youngest two and they have loved it because they are now six and seven. So we've gone the last two years, but now they're kind of at an age where they are getting really super excited for it. So now today I could officially say it's Halloween next month and they were like, yeah, what are we going to be? What are we going to be this year? So I'm looking forward to taking them. I think it's going to be lots of fun. I also love this time of year because it is the run up to Christmas and I am such a big kid at heart. I've always, always, always loved Christmas and it's not kind of like just from being a kid where you, you know, you wake up and you're getting all the presents and it's all that run up to Christmas. It's more just, I think I like I like the idea of Christmas movies and the hot chocolates and just that whole kind of cosy feel. Um, to be honest, like when I left home, I had some, I always used to get really excited for Christmas and I had some really crap Christmases, like, you know, really, really rubbish ones and it used to really get me. But now I've got children, I kind of can make up for it. <laughs> My husband a couple of weeks ago pulled up some photographs because every Christmas I do the exact same thing. I wake up first and I wake up super early. I get all the kids up and I always get us all together and we do a big thing about opening the living room door to see what Santa's brought. And my husband found these photographs from like a couple of years ago where I'm like stood looking like a big excited kid in my pyjamas outside the living room door and the kid's hair is like all over the place, their faces, their eyes are still closed because they're that tired and you've just got me with a big beaming smile on my face just super excited, it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I'm super super excited for this time of the year. But anyway, the build, um, we are coming near the end of this now. I'm just rambling on about next to nothing. But uh, I went for a three-bedroom build. Now, they are only small rooms. There's a, obviously, mum and dad's room. There's kind of like a grown-up teen single room, girly-type room. And then there's like a boy-toddler-type room. Now, I didn't really go all out on toddler decorations, to be honest. I normally do kind of make a big deal about the outside and put all sorts of bits and bobs on the outside but I didn't I just kind of I'm, I still made it kind of family oriented um, and there are sort of toy boxes and the toddler essentials if you like but I just didn't put anything on the outside because obviously we just had the toddler stuff pack and maybe I should have done maybe I should have gone a little all out but I did that in my last build and to be honest a lot of the bits out of the toddler stuff pack are quite an eyesore so I was like mm, I think I'll give it a miss if you want to add them in there is plenty of space for it but I just didn't put them in this time so it's just a small a three bed one bedroom a lot three bed one bath house and um yeah it was quite cozy in the end I thought it was quite a sweet little build 
So I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. I feel like I say this line quite often and it's scary how fast the weeks are flying by. Um, but yeah, I do hope you all have a lovely weekend. Thank you and hello to everybody who's new. I've had a really good week for the channel this week and it's so lovely to have so many new faces piling into the channel. Um, I hope you'll enjoy your stay here. Feel free to leave me a comment if you like or follow me down on Twitter. Twitter. I always aim to kind of respond back to everyone. I'm that kind of girl. I will stay up till stupid o'clock in the morning just to kind of reply back and say hello and howdy hi. And if you've got any questions or anything like that, please feel free to fire them over and I will do my very best to answer them. But yes, if you're interested in following me on Twitch or Twitter, my details are in the description box below. And yeah, feel free to drop in and say hi. So take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic weekend and I will see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.